Are you tired of being broke in Judea 5? Well, introducing Easy Looting. Easy Looting offers Judea online cash, rank boosting, modded accounts, and much more. They're great prices, and it'll definitely be worth it to improve your Judea 5 online experience. The link of the website will be in the link in the description, so make sure you go check that out. You can see reviews on Trustpilot.com, and any of your questions can be answered on the website. Make sure to use code and brisky at a checkout for a discount. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to a new video. In this one, I'll be showing you the four best JDM cars, in my opinion, in GTA 5. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and like button if you're interested in these type of videos. And my Discord will be in the link description. And yeah, make sure you guys go check out JG Gaming. That will also be in the link of the description. So let's get straight into the video. Okay, so first up, we have the Karen S95. This car is based off the Toyota 86, and for the looks of the car, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. This car is actually pretty new. It was probably the newest car that came out, and the speed is just insane. For speed, I give it a 10 out of 10, because this is one of the fastest cars in the game now. I think it's just because it's a new car. But for drifting, I'll only give it a 4, it's just not drift that well and but at least it drives well and handles pretty well for interior i'll only give it a three you can't really customize it that much it's just basic gta 5 interior for the engine bay i'll only give it a two this is also just like not too customizable and all of that and yeah so next up we have the anis zr350 this car is based off the mazda rx7 it's one of the most popular JDM cars, and for the looks, I'll, I'll give it a 10, because it looks identical to RX-7 in real life. It just looks so good, and the customization is just amazing, and yeah, I just love this car a lot. There's just so much you can do with it, especially because it's in the Tuners DLC. For speed, I'll give it a 7. It's not the fastest car, but it is decently fast, I'd say. For drifting, I'd also give it a 7, it actually drifts not too bad, and especially when I'm in lowered mode, in this footage I wasn't in lowered mode, but yeah, like any tuner car can drift pretty well, so. For interior, I'll give it a 9, I just love the dials and everything and how much you can customize it. With every tuner car, you can just customize the interior so well and I love that. For the engine bay, I'm gonna have to give this one a 10. This just looks so cool, just with the turbo and everything. It just looks amazing, and it's just so clean. And it's one of the best parts of the car, actually. But yeah. Okay, next up, we have the Dinka RT3000. This car is based off the Honda S2000. For looks, I'll give it a six. It doesn't look the best, but it looks pretty close to the car in real life. And yeah. For speed, I'll give the car also a 6, and for drifting, I'll give the car a 9. And this car is in lowered mode, it actually drifts really well. It's just easy to drift, that's what I like about this car a lot. Like other cars aren't the easiest to drift, but this one, is just it just slides really easily and you can control it really easily. As you can see, I'm not drifting well in this footage because I wasn't in lowered mode. Like I love these tuner cars, you can lower them and you can drift them so well, that's why I put the rest of the cars on this list besides the first car as a tuner car because those are definitely the best JDM cars in GTA 5. For interior, I'll give this car an 8. This car just looks amazing with the blue accents and all that. And yeah. I couldn't open the hood for some reason, but for engine bay, I'll give it also an 8. It just I just love the tuner car engine bays. You can customize it a lot. Okay, last but not least, we have the Karen Futo GTX. This car is based off the Toyota Sprinter. For looks, I'll give it a 6. I love the accessories and all of it, but just the main style of the car isn't the greatest. Like the hood hatch and all that is really cool. You can get pretty rare accessories on this car that you can't get on other cars. That's what I like about it. Okay, so for speed on the car, I'll give it 4. This car is just not the fastest, but for drifting, I'm gonna give it a 10. It's one of the best drift cars in the game. Once you put it in lowered mode, it just slides. It just slides perfectly and it's amazing. I just love it so much. And yeah, so for interior, I'll give it a 
8 out of 10 because it's just a nice tunic car interior, a lot of customization compared to the other cars in the game. For the engine bay, I'll only give this one a 7. There just isn't as much customization you can do compared to the other tuner cars. Okay, so that'll be it for this video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and like button. Join the Discord. Check out JG Gaming. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.